Hello, today we're excited to show you our past matron sash and all its variations. There are many ways you can personalize your past matron sash at McCoy. We've been hand sewing these sashes ever since our founder, Robert McCoy, helped Robert Morris organize the Eastern Star ritual over a hundred years ago. We start with a beautiful basic past matron sash that is made with purple velvet, lined with a wavy vellum yellow gold braid. The back of the sash is a moray acetate and the bottom has a three inch baby chainette fringe. It has a star on top and at the hip and has the letters PM embroidered on it. And that's the example 2502 you see there in your left. The second sash we show you here is our 2502A and it has the stars on top and on the hip, PM embroidery, plus the fringe has been added to the whole one side. The middle sash is our 2503, which has the stars, the PM letters, plus your year or years you served as matron, and an intricate vine work and a gavel. The next is a 2503, which has the stars, PM, years or years you served, vine work with a gavel, fringe up one side, and your chapter name and number in script embroidered on the body. And finally, this is our most exquisite sash. It's made with the stars, PM, year served, vine work with gavel and fringe up one side. However, the letters are hand sewn rhinestones and the stars are highlighted with rhinestones. Again, you can mix and match these features as you like. These are just five examples of our most popular styles. So let's talk about how we make the sashes. It all starts with each sash being embroidered with whatever special items you want on your sash. If you've chosen to have a rhinestone on your sash, it all goes to our specialist in that area. The craftspersons hand sew each rhinestone on the sash one at a time. And this is why it's important you order your sash with plenty of time for us to carefully make your custom sash with care. It can take up to six weeks to hand sew each rhinestone to your sash, depending on the number and letters you request. Anyway, then the next thing that we do is after we have embroidered it, or if we've done the um, rhinestones, it will then go to the sewers and they carefully sew all the parts together. They hand sew together the moray acetate to the back, the wavy vellum braid to the front and the fringe to the sides. So let's talk about the details. The details of your sash are, a sash are shown here. You can see that the stars are on top and bottom and how the vine work is put together. We will also embroider your name on the back of your sash, which you can see there with red and yellow embroidery. And then one past grand, one past grand matron had her emblem and saying embroidered on her sash. And you can see that at the bottom middle right there, that, that flower, and then it says love and harmony is what her saying was. And then finally, there's a close up of what the rhinestone lettering looks like. So we hope you've enjoyed learning about your past matron sash and you'll wear it with pride for a job well done during your year or years as matron. Please order your sash today at McCoy.com and thanks for watching.